All right, I think we're ready to start now. Hello and welcome everyone to the VMI 2020 Air Force ROTC Commissioning Ceremony. I am Colonel Phil Cooper, Commander of the Air Force ROTC and Professor of Aerospace Studies here at VMI. I want to welcome everyone to our commissioning cadets, our family, our friends, and distinguished guests to this unique virtual ceremony. We wish we could all be together in person for this, but due to our present situation, we are doing what the Air Force has been famous for doing ever since its inception in 1947, and that is being innovative. We also would normally have an invocation um, to begin this, but the chaplain is at another ceremony. So I ask if any of you are of faith or spiritually minded, that you take time after this ceremony to say a blessing as a family over your newly commissioned second lieutenant. Today, we will officially commission 19 cadets with several other commission commissionings happening throughout the summer. During this commissioning, we are privileged to have present and past members of the Army, Navy, the Marine Corps, Air Force, and even the Army Air Corps, participating in, as commissioning officers or presenters um, of first salutes, making this truly a joint ceremony. As a joint ceremony, it is very fitting that our guest speaker today is Air Force Lieutenant General Scott Howe commander of the Joint Special Operations Command. General Howe is a 1987 graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy and earned his wings as a helicopter pilot from Fort Rucker, Alabama, and has served and flown in major operations throughout the world. He has commanded at the squadron, group, air component, wing, and task force levels, and in his previous assignment, he was the vice commander of U.S. Special Operations Command in Washington, D.C. It has been my privilege to work with him on multiple occasions, to include flying with him in combat. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Lieutenant General Scott Howe. Hey, thanks, Coop, and uh, thanks to everyone. I'm, uh, I'm honored uh, to be a part, a small part of today's commissioning ceremony and, uh, and welcome and congratulations to all the lieutenants. Um, I had not had the privilege of visiting VMI and I was really looking forward to kind of walking the campus and getting a feel for things and engaging with each of you up close, uh, personally, but as Colonel Cooper said, you know, the public health um, concerns right now have, have prevented that, but don't let don't, don't let that put a damper on today's uh, ceremony. This is a big deal for you and a big deal for the Air Force. Um, but before I talk to the lieutenants, I'd like to spend a moment to talk to the families and the friends and, and the supporters uh, of today's lieutenants. You know, in the in the military, society kind of hands us a piece of clay, and we take that piece of clay and we form it and make a soldier, a, ser a sailor, an airman, a marine out of it. And some pieces of clay are more formed than others. And uh, some come to us in, uh, in, in a real strong fashion. But for each of you to, to raise the kind of young men and women, first of all, who want to take on the rigors of VMI, it says a great deal about you. You know, the, uh, be willing to take on the challenge there. You know, people with that kind of success don't just uh, emerge. They normally come out of strong families with a degree of discipline, um, a, a significant work ethic, um, a willingness to take on challenges with enthusiasm, so uh, thank you for providing uh, that good piece of clay to the Air Force. I want to thank all the all the families for that. And then um, on behalf of the Air Force, and more importantly, on the behalf of the, of the airmen that your young lieutenants will lead, thank you. Thank you for preparing, preparing them and putting them in a, in a position of, uh, of strength. And for, uh, for our lieutenants also, you know, uh, you didn't choose the easy path. There are lots of routes uh, to commissioning, but you chose VMI. And nobody just sneaks into VMI. You had to have a discipline you knew what you were getting into you had to be ready for the rigors of that type of life and uh and the the knowledge and skills and attributes and the characteristics that led to you led to your success at vmi um, are the same skills and attributes that are going to lead you to success as a lieutenant so uh you don't have to learn anything new as you head uh, into the air force which is good um you know vmi is a powerful commissioning source and i personally I've worked with uh, multiple VMI grads throughout my career, and I have high expectations uh, for you. I'll just let you know now that you've, uh, that you, VMI has set a high standard, and I'm expecting uh, big things out of, out of you. Um, you've all gone through your own trials and tribulations like graduates before you have. You've all persevered. You've adapted, um, and you've, you've come out stronger on, on the other end, so, and, and you've gotten stronger through each challenge. So, you know, when, on matriculation day, when you all enter the rat line, you learned a lot of the foundational principles that would guide you through your time at VMI. You learned concentration, you learned discipline, you had grit, you had a sense of humor and resolve, 
and, uh, and a lot of self-discipline. Um, I'm not sure many of you uh, grew up in high school walking at rigid attention around prescribed routes, uh, but you adapted to that as well. Um, you persevered and kind of worked through that. It's just another small bump in the road. Um, you endured intense daily workouts, make you uh, stronger both mentally and spiritual. spiritually. Um, you went through those. You were uh, um, able to fight back the fatigue mentally and physically and, and keep pushing on to the objective. Um, and you learn to keep focused under intense, uh, intense stress. Um, so congratulations to all for that. And you've learned, I think even more you learn to depend on the person to your left and to your right. So the things that, that brought you through VMI, certainly uh, as part of the rat line, uh, will continue on. And I'm sure you all had your own individual hardships and challenges to the rest of your years at VMI as well. But uh, the foundation that VMI has developed is the same foundation that we're going we're gonna to take on and, and build on in the Air Force. And then lastly, I would say growing up in a, or going to school in a system with the honor code and the honor court, where it's very clear that integrity is the, um, you know, it's, it's the highest of all personal uh, demands we have of, of the armed forces. And even so much so that in the Air Force, it's the number one core value of integrity first. So uh, I appreciate you growing up in that, in that environment. You know, pretty soon you'll be asked to deal lethal force on behalf of our nation. Integrity is going to, to be the, the key piece of that at every level that you work in. So uh, congratulations to all of you. You've all persevered. You've all uh, been resilient and adaptable. You've gotten stronger. That's exactly the kind of leaders we're going to need in the Air Force, and you'll continue to, uh, to adapt as time goes on. Things will change. You know, when I grew up at the Air Force Academy, um, every, every, we spent all of our time studying the Soviet Union. It's all about the Russians. Every year we got a book about the Soviet military tactics and all their equipment because we knew we were going to go to war against the Russians. I've spent most of my career uh, fighting terrorists, so things will change. What you prepared for may not be what you see out on the, on the battlefield, so be adaptable and, um, and stay engaged. So congratulations to you all. I would like to get a quick shout out to our, to our three distinguished graduates and kind of recognize them. Uh, one, Sarah McDougall from Colorado Springs. Congratulations to you, Sarah. I know you're uh, heading out to Laughlin Air Force Base to UPT. Uh, number two is uh, Samantha Franklin from uh, Woodbine, Maryland, who's heading off to Intel School at Goodfellow Air Force Base. And then lastly, Santiago Lopez from uh, Taunton, Massachusetts, who is going into medical school. So congratulations to each of you even more for the extra time and effort and uh, well-roundedness that you brought um, to your time at VMI. That'll pay you in good stead as you head off into the Air Force as well. And I can't pass up the opportunity um, to have a chance. We can kind of give you, I've got six little uh, helpful hints for success for a lieutenant as you enter the Air Force. And hopefully this won't be a surprise to you. And you should have heard some before, but I couldn't resist the opportunity here. One, I would say, don't underestimate the value of a positive mental attitude and a little humility. You know, when, when I talk to my team, if you give me somebody with a good attitude, I will find a job for them. I'll find a, a way to train them. But the last thing we need is a brilliant jerk. This is about building chemistry and building teams. So I will look to you, all of you in your training with your peers and working with your subordinates to build that kind of chemistry and build that team and, and exude that positive mental attitude. It makes us all better. Number two is, is lead yourself first. You know, before you can lead others, you have to be able to lead yourself. You all have grown up in the, in the rigors of the VMI ROTC program. You understand standards. Uh, those standards will not change. Um, be professional in what you say, what you do, how you interact with others. There will be other people in the Air Force out who aren't, who aren't the well-formed pieces of clay that you are. They're going to be looking for an example and a role model. So be that role model. People are looking at you even when you, even when you don't know it. So I will challenge you to, to serve that uh, that way. So lead yourself first. And then two is lead others and um, lead others well. Um, it's, it's, it, it takes time. It's an analog skill. It's not digital. You need to, when, you, when you're leading your airmen, get to know them, know where they're from, what makes them tick, what their family life is like, why they join the Air Force. The more that you're interested in them and the more that you found you, you find out what motivates them, the better you can lead them and the more, uh, more loyalty they're going to have to you as well. So take the time to get to know the airmen and, and the folks that work for you. Number four, listen to your NCOs. I hope you have the, well, the first time you've heard that one. But all of you, and I don't care if you go off to a single seat fighter, you're still going to have uh, your crew chiefs. Going to be all you'll be you, of you will be working with NCOs. They will save you. And uh, there will be a lot of NCOs out there, much lower rank than you, with a good deal more experience, a good deal more context, 
And if you listen to them and bring them into your team, it's going to make you a much better officer. And the, you'll engender the respect from them that they deserve. I've got a son who is a current NCO in the Air Force, and I still learn from him every day. So make sure you take full advantage of your NCO Corps. They are the backbone of our Air Force. Um, number five is value the power of relationships. It's kind of weird. You, you, don't, you don't see it as much now, but, you know, there are five people still left. Uh, from my Air Force Academy class on uh, on active duty. All five of us are three stars. I, I met all of them in July of 1983, and I keep running into them all over the place. And same with my uh, compadres from the other services. You know, you're fortunate there to to be at VMI and, and uh, get to know your, your Army brethren, your Marine Corps brethren, Navy brethren. You will see these same folks again. And when you run into each other on some faraway battlefield or in the Pentagon or elsewhere, it kind of you can get to working quickly because you've established a relationship. So build on those relationships and establish more as you as you go through the Air Force. And then number six is have fun. You're joining the best Air Force the world has ever known. I'm excited for you. It's a lot of fun. It's a great place to work. You're going to be leading airmen who are inquisitive. They want to solve problems. They want to understand why. They have technological skills and prowess and 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 want us to succeed. So you know take that that uh, that seriously. And I look forward to watching you all lead. Um, in 12 days, it will be 33 years uh, since I was commissioned as second lieutenant in the Air Force. So I'm much, much closer to the end of my career than I am to the beginning. But uh, I'm excited and I'm happy to pass the baton off to each of you. I'm excited to see where you're going to take the Air Force and, uh, and, and lead it. And I uh, hope to run into each of you uh, somewhere around the Air Force after your, your commissioning graduated. So congratulations to you all. Colonel Cooper, back to you. All right, cadets. Uh, now, normally after uh, the, the speech, we wouldn't have time for questions, but we would do that after uh, um, after the commissioning. But since we won't have that opportunity, uh, General Howe has offered up a few minutes, maybe a couple of questions. If any of our cadets would have any questions for General Howe, now is your time. And you can come up calm. You don't have to type it in a text. Uh, sir, this is uh, Santiago Lopez. Yes, Santiago, I can see you and hear you. All right, um, sir, what's your opinion on um, how we are starting to send destroyers to uh, the Taiwan Strait right now? Um, what do you think about the South China conflict and what do you think is going to happen in the future with that, sir? Ooh, I know the answer to that. I would be, uh, probably be the chairman right now. So it's 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 tough. You know, there are a, a lot of interests out there. China is showing more aggressive behavior to press out their what they think is their defensive perimeter, and uh, but they're imposing their uh, imposing their will and cost on others in the international area. So it's a it's a difficult problem for us both. Um, they can't project power too far and too well. So that that's good. In the in the best way. Uh, whenever we push back against China, it's always the best to do it in a coalition. So I know there's a good deal of work to engage with other nations to join us in this. There's always strength in numbers. And when you go into these international areas like that, the more numbers you can bring in who are aligned with you, the better. But um, as most of you know, if you're if you're studying the, the Chinese military and the way they're adapting and some of the hypersonic weapons they're developing and glide vehicles, it is, it's going to be a tough, tough environment to operate in. So just like Colonel Cooper said in the beginning, you're joining an Air Force that has always learned to innovate. And we're going to be counting on you and all your, uh, your compadres to innovate as well to learn how to work with these challenges. Thanks for the question. Okay, maybe just two more questions. If any. Uh, sir, this is a uh, cadet rock. Um, I was wondering if you anticipate that um, the coronavirus, um, do you anticipate that it will have effect on any future operations, if at all? Uh, just short -term. That's, that's a great question. I think we're still figuring that out. You know, for uh, for us here, we still have a lot of, uh, of our forces who are downrange engaged in combat. You know, the first thing is sending new forces to to replace them. They, some of these folks have been down uh, forward in in, uh, in Iraq or in Afghanistan for several months, and we can't send the new folks back to replace them yet because they have to go through quarantine. So we're kind of sorting through that. Each country has their own little rule. If you land here, you got to stay two weeks, and so that kind of eats into it as well. I think we're finding um, um, some new ways around this, and, and you all will help us lead through this because I'm not the kind of guy who grew up teleworking and telecommuting. 
but uh, a lot, a large part of our workforce has been telecommuting here for the last month and a half, and it's worked out pretty well. So I think we're going to learn some lessons and get better and be able to rely on technology. So uh, I hope it's not a long-term thing, but the, the lessons we learn here with coronavirus are going to be applicable to much broader challenges. So thanks for the question. Okay, if there's maybe one more, we'll wrap it up. Okay, well, I think we tapped them out of questions. So thank you, General Howe. We really appreciate your time and your message to us today. Um, and now we're gonna begin the commissioning portion of our ceremony. But thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thanks, Scoop. Again, congratulations to all of you. All right, we'll now start um, with our seven cadets being commissioned by me today. Um, I will read the oath of office once, and then we will introduce each commissionee in alphabetical order, who will repeat the oath, um, then have their rank pinned on by their loved ones, and then they will receive their first salute. So if you unpin. Okay, so if all the candidates are ready, we will go in order. And I will start. So raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Our first up cadet is Cadet Brad Agee, an electrical and computer engineering major from Millersville, Maryland. Second Lieutenant Agee is headed to the Air Force Research Lab at Rome, New York, where he will be a developmental engineer. He will receive his first salute from Staff Sergeant Shane Smith. Agee, you have the floor. Sir, am I uh, up on the screen yet? You're up. I, Brad Donovan Agee, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we got to the first one. I think we can do this. Next, we have Cadet Zachary Bertrand, a psychology major from Glen Allen, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Bertrand is headed to Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, where he will attend pilot training school. He will receive his first salute today from Senior Master Sergeant Mark Granger. We see you, you're on. Sir, can you hear me? We can, you're up. All right. I, Zachary Daniel Bertrand, have been, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will free, I will, well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me get God. Awesome. 
multiplication. Right, sir. All right, congrats, congratulations. Cadet Foster, if you're ready to call in. Sir, can you see and hear me? I'm trying my cell phone. I can hear and see you. Awesome. awesome. You're up. Hi, Jamie Ann Foster. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. All right, and now uh, Second Lieutenant Foster will give uh, her first salute to Sergeant Props. Nice. All right, next we have Cadet Santiago Lopez, a chemistry major from Taunton, Maryland. Second Lieutenant Lopez is a distinguished graduate and has a full tuition scholarship to West Virginia University, where he will attend medical school starting in the fall, followed by being a doctor in the Air Force. He will receive his first salute from Staff Sergeant Andrew Pratis. And I think I said it wrong, not Maryland, but Massachusetts. Sorry about that. You're up. Sir, can you hear me now? I can. I, Santiago J. Lopez, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. All right, next we have Cadet William Nykirk, a history major from Hayes, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Nykirk is headed to Vance Air Force Base, Oklahoma, where he will attend pilot training. He will receive his first salute from Private First Class Jacob Hogg. Nykirk, are you out there? I know they were having issues earlier. Okay, we will come back to Cadet Nykirk. Next, we have Cadet Emma Noble, a mechanical engineering major from Cedar Rapids, Indiana. Second Lieutenant Noble is headed to the 83rd Fighter Weapons Squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, where she will be a developmental engineer. She will receive her first salute from Staff Sergeant Roger Noble. Emma, you're up. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Am I showing up yet? Am I showing up? Can you guys hear me? Hello, does anybody hear me? We can hear you and see you. You're up. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I, Emma Rose Noble, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, 
do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. All right, fantastic. Next, we have Cadet Russell Simpson, a civil engineering major from Hayes, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Simpson is headed to Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, where he will attend pilot training. He will receive his first salute from Tech Sergeant Brian Williams. Cadet awesome. Simpson, you're up. Thanks for that introduction, sir. I appreciate it. Am I up on the screen? You're up on the screen. Go ahead. Awesome. Thank you. I, Russell D. Simpson, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Sir, while they're doing that, I'm trying to get on camera. Can you see me? Yeah, I think you're up on screen. Make sure your video is on. <laughs> it says that it's on, so I'm sorry that it's. Uh... <laughs> Can y'all see me? I can't, no. Uh, sorry. Sir, can we come back to this? Do you see in there, Russell? No, I don't, no, sir. I, I see you. I see you. You're up. Go ahead. All right, well, then I'll go ahead and do it then. <laughs> Congratulations, Russell, and awesome. everybody else. Thanks, Lonnie. Thanks. All right, were we able to get Polito back up? Oh, Nykirk. Or Nykirk, sorry. Okay, continue on. All right, our next eight cadets have individual commissioning officers. I will announce each of the commissionees in alphabetical order along with their commissioning officer who will read their oath, then have their rank pinned on by their loved ones, and then they will receive their first salute. First up, uh, is Cadet Nathan Alford, mechanical engineering major from Gum Spring, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Alford is headed to Vandenberg Air Force Base, where he will attend missileer training. He will be commissioned today by First Lieutenant Devin J. Kirk, and he will receive his first salute from Technical Sergeant Bruce Alford, retired. Good morning, General Howe. Good morning, Colonel Cooper. Good morning, Lieutenant Kirk. Can you all see me okay? We've got gotcha. you. Cool. All right, Nathan, raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your full name, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. I, Nathan Bruce Alford, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. And that I will well and faithfully 
discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, next we have Cadet Cole Christian, mechanical engineering major from Houston, Texas. Second Lieutenant Christian is awaiting notification of his pilot training base at this time. And he's an alternate for the Gold Bar program, which allows second lieutenants to work at a university for a year as a recruiter while awaiting their assignment. He will be commissioned today by Colonel John Evans Retired and he will receive his first salute from Private Bob Hoffmaster, Army Air Corps, retired. Hello, this is uh, Colonel Jonathan Evans. Okay, I good morning. Up sir. on screen. Coming up, sir. And not quite yet. All right, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Coming up. There you go. Right. We've got you both. There we go. All right, congratulations, Cole. Uh, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. I call Matthew Christian. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do you solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States? Do you solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter, so help me God. Of the office of which I am about to enter, so help me God. Congratulations. Gee, Papa, I think you got to talk so you can come up onto the screen. Hey, we he's up on the screen, so he's oh, saluting yeah. now. Great. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Next, we have Cadet Aeneas Gutierrez from Houston, Texas, a mathematics major at Mary Baldwin University, where she is a part of the Virginia Women's Institute of Leadership. Second Lieutenant Gutierrez is headed to Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, where she will attend pilot training. She will be commissioned today by Brigadier General Teresa DeJurek, retired. She will receive her first salute from Specialist Ruben Gutierrez. And General Jurek is here. If you can hear me, I am ready when Cadet Gutierrez is. We have you, yes. ma'am. We'll just wait for her. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. I'm ready. Great. 
Cadet Gutierrez, raise your right <laughs> hand and repeat after me. Yes, ma'am. I state your full name. I, Anais Esmeralda Gutierrez. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign or domestic. Against all enemies, foreign or domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gutierrez. Thank you, General Drake. <laughs> Thank you, General DeJeric. I love the uh, the one-star flag on the curtain rod back there. That is fantastic. Love the innovation. All right, cadet. Our next cadet is Cadet Caden Dabrowski, electrical and computer engineering major from Indy Atlantic, Florida. Second Lieutenant Dabrowski is awaiting final assignment orders. He will be commissioned today by Lieutenant Junior Grade Kira Dabrowski. He will receive his first salute from Staff Sergeant Andre Andres Prados. I know it, sir. Can you we, see me? We you see you. Okay, Dabrowski, you raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Caden Richard Dabrowski. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been assigned as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the office upon which I'm about to enter. Discharge the office that I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Awesome. Alex, you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you see me? I cannot see you. I see, I see. Oh, talk a little bit more. Hello? <laughs> can anybody else see him? If you just say maybe a sentence to come on, just saying hello is probably not going to bring you up on camera. Okay, what do hey, we how do? awesome I think Dabrowski is. Congratulations, <laughs> Am I on yet? No. I don't know. 
I met Caden uh, <laughs> in eighth grade. We were the two, <laughs> worst, ball, two uh, worst baseball players on the team. Oh, oh, almost there. There, there you are. Yeah. There you go. We got you. Go ahead. Yay. Thanks, buddy. All right. Next, we have Cadet Justin Polito, an applied mathematics major from Ashland, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Polito is headed to Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, where he will attend pilot training. He will be commissioned today by Lieutenant Junior Grade Eric Stein. He will receive his first salute from Sergeant First Class Christopher B. Y'all see me? Sir? Not quite yet. All right. I'm just going to keep talking. We had some te technical difficulties earlier. Uh, yeah. Is not Mike sure. Kirk with you? He is. Okay, so after you, we'll just have Mike Kirk go. All right. I'll be introducing. Go ahead. All right. Let's go. Right I state your full name. I, Justin Robert Polito, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? To support and defend, support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office, the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter, on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. So far, so good. Pretty <laughs> Okay. Awesome. All right, so I'm being you can see the guide ons. Can you see me now, sir? Uh, no, I can just see the guide ons. Okay, well, there must be some lag because I jumped into the frame here. But it's, uh, we can just see the, the guide on the 146G. All right. I'll try to the selfie. There. there we go. We got gotcha. you. Okay, I'm going to have a partner assist me here. Thank you. All right. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. Tiger Echo. Tiger Echo. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Cadet William Nykirk, a history major from Hayes, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Nykirk is headed to Vance Air Force Base, Oklahoma, where he will attend pilot training. He will receive his first salute from Private First Class Jacob Hall. You're up. All right. I had some technical difficulties before, but I'm here on uh, Cadet Felitas. All right. I, William McClure Nykirk, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter, so help me God. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I have private first class hog with me. Congratulations, sir. I'll be your first loot. Thank you. Thank you. Outstanding. 
Next, we have Cadet Michael Rott, a physics major from Henrico, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Rott is headed to the 96th Maintenance Squadron at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, where he will be a maintenance officer. He will be commissioned today by Lieutenant Colonel Roy Rott, retired. He will receive his first salute from Chief Warrant Officer Robert Finch, retired. Roy? Cadet Rott, we see you on the screen. Okay. Uh, can you oh. hear me? Okay, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, we will go through the entire oath. So, uh, Cadet Michael, will you raise your right hand and repeat after me the whole oath? I state your full name, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force to solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. All right. I, Michael Edward Rott, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you. Yeah, come on. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, next we have Cadet Kathleen Yates, a computer science major from Williamsburg, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Yates is headed to Keesler Air Force Base, Mississippi, where she will attend cyber training. She will be commissioned today by Lieutenant Commander Dan Schlickenheimer, retired. She will receive her first salute from Staff Sergeant Patrick Hogan. Yates, you are up. Ed Yates, raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I state your full name. Hi, Captain Yates. Having been appointed a rank of second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed rank of second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties. Of the office upon which I am about to enter. Of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Staff Sergeant Hogan, can you come up on screen, please? Uh, Patrick's here. Patrick's here. Uh, I cannot, but can go along with it anyways. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lieutenant Yates. Second Lieutenant, uh, our, our next graduate, 
is Cadet Austin Young, a biology major from Newport News, Virginia. Second Lieutenant Young is headed to Pensacola Naval Air Station, Florida, where he will attend Combat Systems Operator, formerly known as Navigator, training. He will be commissioned today by Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Alden, retired, and he will receive his first salute from Chief Master Sergeant Christopher Rambali, retired. Cadet Young, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Christopher Alden, United States Air Force, retired. I'm going to say the entire oath, and then Austin will repeat it. Uh, am I on screen yet, sir? You are. You are both on screen. I state your full name, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter, so help me God. I, Austin Michael Young, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, to, to affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the office upon which I am about to enter, so help me God. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. All right, Chief, are you up? Uh, not yet. Try saying, I think, there you are, sir. You see me? Yes, Chief. What a great honor and a great pleasure. Thank you, Chief. Aim high. Cool. <laughs> All right. I tell you what, I'm coming over to the Yates' house after this. It looks like they got a pretty good party going on. <laughs> All right, our last six commissionees will commission later today in separate events, and we will add their events to this recording once complete. We also have a few cadets commissioning later this summer, so we will have separate events for them as well. I wanna thank everyone for attending this first of its kind for Air Force ROTC at BMI event. I pray all of you stay safe during this pandemic, and I look forward to seeing each of these new second lieutenants around the Air Force in the future. I also want to thank Lieutenant General Scott Howe for delivering his words of wisdom to our newest members of the United States Air Force. This concludes the ceremony. Fly, fight, win. Goodbye, everybody.